you turned me on to this thing called the Aura Ring. Right, the ring that measures your sleep and stuff like that. The Aura Ring has rapidly been gaining popularity. Even our beloved celebs can't get enough. But what exactly is it? And more importantly, is it any good? Today I'll be sharing my experience with the Aura Ring, the pros, the cons, and whether the Aura Ring is right for you. The Aura Ring is a comprehensive health tracker and the device works by shining infrared, red and green LED light through your skin. From this data they can measure your sleep, activity, recovery and stress levels and all this information is sent directly to the app. One of the key features I liked about the Aura Ring is you can just pop it on and go about your day. Unlike the needy Apple Watch which I feel was constantly biding for my attention. Battery life is also about 4 days and only takes about 2 hours to fully charge. So you could say that this is the Ring version of the Whoop strap, however due to the Ring being on the finger it is able to measure directly from the arteries in the finger which gives a more accurate reading than the whoop strap which is on the wrist. The ring is also waterproof and for a tracker fairly aesthetic well I had one friend who said it looked pretty good but before I jump into the pros and cons I think it's worth stating that the only reason I'm after a tracker is for this channel. I do a lot of challenges and product reviews on this channel and I quite often get asked by people to share them some data. Apparently my personal anecdotes are not enough so I'm just looking for something that I can put on and I don't really have to think about and this seems to tick all the boxes. Anyway, let's get to the first positive of the Aura Ring, and that is the app. As a millennial, I'm not as tech savvy as some of these Gen Zers. I mean, back in my day, we used to use a, a thing called a pen and paper when I was at school. So I really appreciate a user-friendly experience. And with the Aura Ring, that's exactly what you get. Your data is broken down into three categories. You've got sleep, activity, and readiness. So every morning when you wake up, the ring will correlate all this data and give you a readiness score. And this kind of gives you an idea of how hard you should push yourself that day. The app also automatically adds activity tags, for example if you went for a walk or meditated. You can tell I live a exciting life. These tags are useful as days when your readiness score is not optimal, you can go back through your day and see if there's any themes or any activities that you're doing that may be causing you issues. Next we have my favourite feature on the app and that is the daily stress monitoring. Similar to the tag feature, you can now see how certain events throughout the day can impact your stress levels. Things like working out, going for a coffee or even getting overly excited can put you into a more stressed state. So by using the stress monitor I was able to make adjustments to my evening routine and dramatically improve my sleep. Who would have thought that reading or meditating before bed would put me in a more relaxed state than binge watching Married at First Sight? Now I know this stuff seems obvious but similar to healthy eating and exercising, sometimes seeing data that shows how negatively something is impacting you is all the motivation you need to start making some changes. The app also features built in meditations and if you do the meditations through the app you can actually see your stress levels become more relaxed after the meditation is finished. And this has really helped to rekindle my love for meditation so for that I thank you Aura. However, before you jump online and start ordering yourself a ring, there are a few negatives I'd like to share with you guys first. Now I am aware that I said in the positives that the ring is very easy to use, you slip it on and you kind of forget about it. However, that isn't quite the case if you're someone who uses their hands a lot. Now this might just be me, but I found myself constantly taking the ring off whenever I was at home. I always seem to be making food, doing dishes, washing my hands, I even have a pull up bar that I like to hang from and do pull ups sporadically throughout the day. This was bad because it meant that the ring wasn't continually monitoring my heart throughout the day which would give better and more insightful data but it also meant that a lot of the time I left the house without remembering to put the ring back on. Now this shouldn't be a problem as the ring does have a feature where you can sync other apps like the Apple Watch, Fitbits and even the health app on your phone. However I personally found that 50% of the time it wasn't automatically syncing my data. Of course you do have the option to enter this in manually yourself however it would be a lot more useful if it just worked every time. Also if you're someone who trains with weights again you're going to have to take the ring off. I mean you can't weight train with a ring on your finger it's going to cause an injury or at the very least you're going to scratch your ring to pieces. I actually started carrying a little bag to put the ring on that's how often I'm taking this ring on and off. This means the ring won't be able to track your gym workouts which again means you're going to have to enter in the data manually. So if you're a data junkie or an athlete that really benefits from getting the insights from your workouts I'd highly suggest getting the whoop strap over the aura ring. I find the aura ring to be more of a wellness device than a fitness tracker. And finally we can't end the review without talking about the price. The Aura Ring starts out at £299 and goes all the way up to £449 if you're after the, uh, the Aniston look. However, the highly controversial aspect of the new generation free Aura Ring is it now comes with a subscription. Yay! Now this is my fault, I review a lot of products on this channel, usually several things at once, so when I see something that interests me, I don't spend too much time researching. However, I did see that this did come with a subscription, but naively in my head, I assumed the subscription would be giving you more data than it already 
already provided. This subscription is just to get access to the data that was already available on the original Generation 2 Aura Ring. So if you are on a budget, you'd be better off trying to find a Generation 2 Aura Ring and then you wouldn't have to pay the subscription. So I was just looking to see if I could find a Generation 2 Aura Ring online and I stumbled across something I thought was worth sharing and that is that Aura Ring actually did a collab with Gucci. These rings are going for about £1,200 on eBay. Now I have no idea how much they were originally as they're no longer available from Gucci and they also come with a lifetime membership to the, the Aura Ring so it could be worth it though I don't think they're quite my style. Without the subscription, I believe you only get access to your free scores. None of the stress monitoring, tags or HRV data, which I think is what makes the device so great. The subscription may only be £5.99 a month, but that still works out at £71.88 a year for however long you want to use the device. And for that reason alone, I'm out. However, during this review, I did stumble across a device that is pretty similar, but doesn't require a subscription. I'm currently still testing it out, but I'm excited to see how it compares. And if you're interested in finding out as well, make sure to drop us a follow. Thank you very much for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.